Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now we have two courtiers here who would like to apologize to. I believe I missed um, both of them when I was kind of skimming through the list in first make. Now I did go and double check. I don't believe I missed anybody else but I will do a video later uh, once I finished making everybody and then you can tell me which ones I missed if I have missed any. Hopefully I haven't but there we go. These are two brothers from Volantis. And they both come to the Iron Isles for their own reasons. We have Arion Gil Venice, who has come here because he has um, he has converted. He's converted to the Drowned God, and he has decided that he wants to come and be a priest over here. Well, yes. And we also have Railer Gil Venice, who has come here as a diplomat. And the reason he has come here is he has heard of dragon activity in the area. Now, as we know, it's the dragon egg from Zack Greensmith that didn't do go anywhere. But he doesn't know this, and he's decided to come here with his brother, a little bit sneakily, you know. He's, um, is under the pretense of just coming with his brother to, you know, support him, go on the journey with him, but he's really here for his own, uh, his own reasons. Anyway, that's them both here. And, of course, Arian, being a priest, can fill our position of drowned man. There we go. We'll put him in. We now have a drowned man. What are we going to do with him? Well, we can't build zeal because we have no intention of attacking anybody who isn't our religion. Perform charity. It ain't really a... Uh, it's not the Ironborn thing. And he is zealous. So we're going to do some converting. That's my logic. Right. Um, anything else we need to worry about? Not really. We've got all of this done, all of this done. Yeah, we're pretty much where we are. Uh, we are a bit maimed, however, which is a bit of a problem, but we can just let time move on and hopefully it'll fix itself. I've been corresponding regularly with my brother, Harren, and I always make sure to see him when I get the chance. It's a harsh world and family must stick together. Family first. Uh, four week claims. Oh yes, we were going to attack Lannisport for Todrick Serpentail. Now I remember. He has no alliances, we have a lot of men. It seems like a good war. Yeah. Seems like a very good war. Let's do it. And I believe yes, he also holds the High Lord of Harlaw, um, and this is the and has no vassals. So this seems perfect, because it means that the High Lord of Harlaw uh, will disappear, so he won't be able to press his claim on it. So Lannisport, who are we pressing it for? Which brother do we like better? Ambrod or Todrick? It should be Todrick because he's older. Do we like Todrick is 15? Um, opinion and um, Ambrod is 8. So yeah, that works out. We'll attack for Todrick's claim. Todrick uh, doesn't have any children, so actually it would, might even jump back. It would probably go to Todrick. Oh, I still have Charent for one. Um, we would be fourth in line to, to Lannisport then because it would be uh, Todrick, his brother, his brother's son, and then it would be us, I assume? Yeah. So let's attack. Um, Todrick, done. Uh, council doesn't get a vote. Let's do it. Right, uh, we raise up all of our men. All of our men. And what do we want to do? Do we want to merge them onto an... Oh, wow. How did these guys get... Are they... Wait, they're a different thing, aren't they? Old Wick, why are you in a... Like, why are you hostile to me? I'm not entirely sure why, why Old Wick are hostile to me at all. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll merge up over here. It might just be raiders or something. And we'll move over here. Harlan Kenning and Roderick of Harden Hill had a um, non aggression pact has been dissolved as they no longer have marriage ties. Lord Urus, I hereby command you to lay down your arms and end your wars of aggression. If you ignore this express command from your rightful leash, you'll have no choice but to brand you a traitor and enemy of the realm. So we can do as he says, and white pieces, or we can say no. No, you will have to brand us as a traitor. My liege has seen fit to throw me in a dungeon. My life might be forfeit. Wait a second, what? How did he do that? Um, no really, how did he do that? Did he, oh, he might have done it, he might have just tried imprisoning. You know what? Uh, yeah. I think it's trial by combat time. Okay. Um, yep. Trial by combat. We'll see how it goes. 
We're still gonna press our flame. Like, it's our uncle's flame we're pressing. And we're a family man. Your rival. Pete. He's, Joffrey's now a rival. Okay, interesting. Peace be with you. I humbly accept your suggestion to revoke the High Lordship of Pike, though it grieves me deep. Um. My suggestion? To revoke the High Lordship of Pike? Um. Um. Excuse me? Excuse me? My suggestion? I don't think I made any suggestion. Maybe these are just wrong events. I don't feel too well. Something is wrong with me. I'm burning up with fever. My nose is running. My head feels as if something is banging hard against it. Please kill me. Um. Well, this definitely isn't right at all. I woke up this morning feeling much better. It seems my illness has passed. We have lost the trait ill. To all my subjects, for the crime of failing to keep the peace and disobeying express uh, command to cease hostilities, I hereby name... Uh, Lord Harlan Kenning, um, a traitor and enemy of the realm. So Harlan Kenning has now decided to join... He's now made his own war for Pike. Wow. Okay. This is definitely... Um, this is interesting. Uh, we don't have enough men to get people over the water right now. <laughs> we can only take a thousand at a time. Um, okay. Well, this sure is interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we need a Castilian. Let, let's just start at, at, at first um, kind of thing. We need a Castilian. Our Castilian is going to be Ginnar. He wants to become treasurer. They both want to become treasurer. Uh, nobody wants to become Castilian. Castellan. Uh, I guess Ginnar, you are Castellan. I want you to improve our defenses. Okay. Master Arms. Um, Irene. Definitely could be Irene. Uh, we don't really like her. No, she doesn't like us, but that's fine. Irene. You're in charge. I want you to... I guess we'll get her to train children, because that's kind of what we need her to do. Um, okay. Well. We could go and beat the Harlaw armies up, or we can go for Lannisport. Let's beat the armies up. Okay, let's get make sure we have good leaders. We have more weak claims we can press. We can press claims for the High uh, Lordship of Pike. I hope we have a claim on the High Lordship of Pike. Yeah. Good. Um, anything else that we need to be doing? I don't think so. Uh, you should probably be doing something, but... Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's go kill this army that's about to land. Never mind, it's not about to land. You want to marry your uh, daughter again? Sure. Whatever. I, it keeps cancelling, but I don't know. That's fine. Alright, we'll, we'll kill these 200 men who've just landed on our province. I mean, we're imprisoned, but we're not imprisoned by somebody who's in the war, which is a very odd position to be in. Um... Okay, they're bringing their army back. Is this our best leaders? Gilwood, Roderick, and Larence. Um, maybe not, but this is fine. Wait, Larence should be leading... Oh, no. Roderick should be leading the center. That's okay. I'll wait for him to drop his army. He's, caught, he's dropped his army. My lord, an enemy host approaches intent on circling the castle. What should we do? The castle is impregnable. We'll be safest here. Yeah, especially as we have an army coming. Did we become zealous? Nope, or bra not brave either. Attack in. You, you know, you know what? Stop it. Stop marrying your daughter. We'll just decline. Gwyneth is no longer a regent and is no longer our spy master. A new spy master. A new spy master will be. Uh, Lendon. Could be Lendon Goldwine. Okay. Go scheme. And now someone else is our regent. We now have Tiberius as our regent. Lord Ellis of the Sisters accepted King Artis' uh, peace offer. And Artis won. Right. And he's hurt the High Lordship of the Sisters. We have won the siege of Harlaw Hill. Let's chase down his army. Okay. 
We're going all the way to chase down the army here. And we caught him. We have now killed that army. We're going to go back to here. Um, yeah, we're still imprisoned, which is interesting. That's fine. Who died? Uh, we had somebody die. Melon Morton died. Or Mouton died, sorry. I hope our family appreciates this uh, land we're getting them. Right, kill the uh, Harla army. Are we capped at 75% war score? Yeah, we're capped at 75 for attackers. Um, I suspect they're going the same way. We're still going to try and kill his army. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more in that Belchio Magar now rides Harris into battle. So feet 14 year old uh, does uh, rides the 37 year old dragon. He's going to pike. I also, L Lord Tristan of Saltsliff is taking pike. I love it. James Justice died of great scale. Interesting. Uh, he was married to Shuira and had two children. Yeah, we're, we're, it's weird that we're walking past uh, our former um, vassals' armies. King Emin of the Reach has died. He has been succeeded by Colin. Right. Kill the army. It's gone. Okay, now we need to get across the water. We can call Yara Merlin for a trial. It doesn't really seem like the right time to call Yara Merlin for a trial, personally. And then kill some more of their armies. Right. Let's start splitting this army up. So, split in half. We can't split the mana half again. This Is this as small as the armies get? Or can we create new units that are smaller? We can create new units that are smaller. Cool. That's too many. Okay. So this unit. Got on the boats. I'm going to move you to the Bane Fort. Then we're going to continually do this. A son was born to Robotronius and Irene the Bull named Dagon. But uh, he is sickly. And in fact he died stillborn. A land here. Create a new army. Um, there we go. Yep. Select the new army. Get you on the boats. Move you out. Get you to park on the Bane Fort. Colin of the Reach has cleared the Reachman's claim for Prince Lake Clayton to claim on the Stormlands on Storm King Edric the Ninth. Okay. Bram's Fort Peasants Revolt. My lord, your courtier, Raylar, has tried to hatch a dragon from his egg, but failed. He also lost his egg in the process. How did he get a dragon egg? D do we not want to, uh... He didn't have a dragon egg about ten minutes ago. He's maimed. The land is consumed by dragon fire, and, Gale's Venia and Gale Venice is responsible for it. I guess he found what he was looking for, huh? Okay. How many men do we need to siege Lannisport? We have enough. Okay. So our army here will be... Um, I guess... Lawrence, Gwynis, and Gilwood. Okay. That seems fine. Uh, Lawrence, you can lead the center. We'll have Gwynis and we'll have Gilwood. Army, head to, to Lannisport. Other army, gonna use you to kill this... Uh, like... Harlot army. There we go. Now let's make some new units. Um, yeah. Make some new ones to travel across. There we go. Select this unit. Get them on the boats. And we will move them out onto the Bane's Fort and then they can head over. And we'll keep a small contingent here uh, just to protect. We'll park our boats uh, here. Good. 24 men. I think we can beat that. Good. Alright. I gotta say, this war seemed a lot easier in my head. <laughs> it seemed much easier in my head. Okay. 
The North March, uh, leading Mina of the North March is usurp the Lordship of Dosk from Lo Lord Garst the Careless. And the, uh, yeah, he, he took everything from Lord Garst the Careless. That's fine. We're now at Lannisport. They managed to get 100 men away, but that's fine. My liege, I'm pleased to report the errant subject Lionel has converted to the Drowned Faith. Face the Drowned God. Um, he converted our maester. You know what? That's, that's pretty good work. Pretty good work. Um, my lord, for some time now I've been an employee of Master Rook and I seek a better station. I humbly request to join you in Harlow Hill so I may serve you. I'll ask in return a small recompense. He wants to be treasurer. No. Right. Uh, we'll land over here. Yield that army. Uh, that was some shouting. So, uh, Lord Dennis of Hornvale was slain by Sir Carlton of, uh, uh Brightwall in personal combat. Okay. Oak carts are being released from dungeons. A son was born to Saragon Weber and False of Shatterstone named Wallace. Wallace Weber. Okay. Killed that other army. We now have a proper siege force going. My lord, I, Raylar Gil Venus, I sincerely ask I'll be allowed to pursue, pursue a career at the Sistel in Old Town. Sure, you can be a Valyrian maester. Off you go. You you uh, summoned a dragon, you burned our lands, and now you want to be a maester. You know, you can do that. I deserve better than to rot in this dank dungeon. I should ask King Joffrey III for accommodations more suitable to my rank. Yes, we are proud. Of course we'll do this. Pro King Joffrey III decided I should not be forgotten. In the oubliette! This is the end of me. The drowned god have mercy. Oh no. We're maimed and we're in the oubliette. This isn't good. Georgian of the Driftwood Hall. Peasants revolted. Declared the peasants revolt for Driftwood Hall and King Marlin of the North. My liege, I am pleased to report that your errant subject, Zia Island, has converted to the drowned god Faith. Praise the drowned god. Your humble septum, Arian Galvanus. He's very good at his job, to be honest. Uh, the Targaryens are calling in favours from the Darklands. Travelers bring rumours of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more in that Day of Tab Dame Ador Targaryen now rides Pradarian into battle. Master of uh, Pradarian. He, of course, holds the, the uh, city of Durlin. <laughs> um, okay, so you, you're now a dragon rider. With ridiculously high martial, because you're a dragon rider now. Okay. Second coming of Aegon, but might be actually good. Harlan of Pike has usurped the High Lord of a Pike uh, from Norwin the Gallant. So our friend Harlan now controls Pike. Okay. Sure. Harlan Kenning has mo made it up to control Pike. Uh, who's underneath him? So he's made his capital Saltlift just uh, out of pure spite. His, one of his subjects is Lord Christopher, a father-in-law. And uh, Lord Dennis of Lordsport. Now, Stone Tree is held by our father, Lord Roderick. Uh, yes, okay. And Volmark is held by our rival, who is also our liege. Okay. The regency for Lord Urus of Harlow Hill has ended. Your jailers enter your cell, grinning ear to ear. Some f uh, something experience has taught you is a very bad sign. Good news, one of them says cheerfully. New orders from the Lord. Ye are to be set free after ye have been blinded. Take a look at this cell because it's the last thing ye'll ever lay your eyes on. Stay away from me. We have been blinded, but we are back in Harlow Hill. Uh, okay, you want me to be in a plot to rescue Yara Merlin from Lord Urus's capture. Excuse I am Lord Urus. I may be blind, but I can still see through that plot. Right. New ambitions. Um... I don't know. What what would our ambition be? I guess I still have a daughter. Our character focus, however, is not family anymore. Hmm. Where are we going? Oh, rulership. War. I think war is a reasonable focus at this point. Yeah. Right. We have won the siege of Fawn Town. We've taken control of the holding from Lord Ander of Summerfield. 
My lord has come to my attention. Nobody has been designated regent for Harlow Hill. Well, Gilwood, you have now been designated regent. Oh, okay, still going. Uh, people being released from dungeons. Lord Joffrey the Scarred revoked the Lordship of Case from Lord Harlan of Pike. What was the Lordship of Case? Oh, so he held Kate. I didn't even know he held that. But, okay. He revoked it from him. I guess he held that because he, he must have inherited everything that... Alright, he must have given... Alright. Joffrey gave the person who held Case the High Lord of a Pike, who then lost the High Lord of a Pike, and that was now, therefore, within the High Lord of a Pike. Oh, he also controls a sea skin point now, with the Lannister still in it. Okay. This is, um, interesting. The Rocks of uh, Institute, the Ruler Diplomacy Sovereignty Law. What does that mean? Um, okay, so he now votes on diplomatic actions. Okay. Under my guidance, my uh, young courtier, Makar Targaryen, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Well, well done, I guess. Yara Merlin is complaining about her dark cell in the dungeon. She is our rival. Um, well, we'll let her rot. We're better than the Lannisters. We're not going to put her in the oublette. Where is he? Why has he raised all his men? Oh, he's being attacked in by Colin of the Reach and the Westlanders' claim for Lord John's claim on Red Lake. Okay. We're almost finished our siege of Lannisport. Okay. History is a subject that has always fascinated you. You have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of the Iron King Horrid Core. There are many lessons to be learned from how he led the Ironborn to the peak of expansion, ruling territory from the Sunset Sea to the Arbor to Bear Island. Perhaps too I will march east someday. Right. My lord, I'm pleased to report I've captured some high-value prisoners after his successful siege of Southgate. I hereby turn them over to you for judgment. Send them to my dungeon. We have a 100% war score. Offer peace. Enforce our demands. We have taken Lannisport for our brother. For our uncle, sorry. His heir is Hagen Sarkintail, who is Ambrod's son. Oh, it's because Ambrod's disinherited, but his son is not. Okay. We can now disband our troops here, because we're not at war with anybody. This is interesting. Do you want to be our vassal? Out of curiosity? No, we can't offer him that. Oh, he's actually it's up the High Lordship as well. I did not realize. So, de jure, he's our High Lord. Because we only have the Lordship of Harlow Hill. We have no vassals. I didn't... Okay, this is... In fact, our father is underneath him. This is... This has not gone well. I'm just going to put it like that. The, we we had this land. We had this land. And now we have Harlow Hill. And we're blinded. And we're all alone. And I think this is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.